Welcome to our autumnal album in a box tutorial featuring our Hello Pumpkin paper collection. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the G45 headquarters. I'm gonna take this album in a box and turn it into this Hello Pumpkin cutie. So inside you're gonna see we've got some fun little interactive spots for your memory keeping to add in all your photos and journaling. We're also going to have these little cute artist trading tags, some more fun pullouts in those pockets, and then open this up. You're gonna see we have another pocket here with a trading tag, and this folds open to unveil another great little accordion folder so many spots for all those gorgeous fall photos you're going to be taking out at the pumpkin patch in your halloween costumes maybe uh, photos you're taking at thanksgiving dinner we'd love to hear how you're going to use your album in the comments below so let us know so carla's really showing us a lot of great ways to use up these artist trading cards and just every page has a fun little interactive detail really unfolding so much fun. I love these clever folds here. And then this just pulls out where you've got a great space for writing in your sentiments, maybe your favorite activities you did, your favorite things about fall, adding a photo back here. Another little photo mat booklet. So fun. And then in the very back, we've got a fun little waterfall with more spaces for your photos. And we love how this all just fits nicely inside this box with a nice magnetic little closure. Now this album has been created for us this month by Carla Lavera and Carla did not skimp on the techniques, teaching us great ways to add dimension and make each page an interactive, a fun delight. The Volume 9 album kit includes so many fun Hello Pumpkin products. So you're going to get this Hello Pumpkin button if you are a Graphic 45 subscriber. You're going to get the artist trading tags. You get 12 of those and a little binding ring. You're going to get the album in a box. This is so much fun to work with and so easy. The Hello Pumpkin flower assortments you're gonna get 48 die cut double-sided pieces in there. Of course, this graphic 45 bag to store it all in. The project sheet with step-by-step -step instructions. And the 12 by 12 Hello Pumpkin collection pack. So you get 16 double-sided sheets in here with gorgeous patterns, imagery, great cut aparts with some fun journaling backgrounds. Love those plaids and diamonds, pumpkins. This collection is one of our best sellers of the year and you can see why. And that collection pack comes with a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. You can pick up our kit on our website at g45papers.com or down at your local G45 retailer. Of course, you can always grab your supplies you've got at home and create along with us learning new great techniques to use on all your paper crafting projects. So grab your supplies and let's start creating. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our album in a box. And we are going to take out our little album insert, throw this away, and then we'll decorate our album or our box afterwards. In this video, I'm going to give you all the dimensions and step-by-step -step directions, but if you want to follow along with the project sheet, you can do that by picking up the kit, of course, that comes in there, or going to our website, g45papers.com, and up to that inspiration tab, and down to project sheets, and that's where you'll find this, along with 30 others. So for step one, we're going to take two pieces of Autumn Splendor that have been cut to be four and seven eighths of an inch by three and three eighths. Then we've got two pieces of farmer's market that have been cut to be four and seven eighths of an inch by three quarters of an inch. And then we have these borders that have also been cut to be four and seven eighths of an inch. And these are from Beautiful Bounty. 
So we're going to start adhering into our book. So our first page should look like this and have a pocket on the bottom. And then that's going to have a little flip top here. So this is going to be page one and this page here is two. This is two A here, two B and two C. Just using your favorite adhesive, I'm using art glitter glue. We're going to start adhering our pieces into our album. Of course, these are our Hello Pumpkin papers and our black album in a box, but this album in a box does come in ivory as well. And you could do this with that one, or you could mix up the papers and really customize this to make it your own. The idea behind these album in the box is so you could create this album when it's not in the box, making it an easy process and making it fun. But of course, we also like the options that it gives you where you could just add this into your box and it doesn't have to be attached. It really, or you could adhere it into the box in numerous different ways. So we just really love the versatility of what this is giving you. So now I'm working on our page to C and I'm just gonna do the exact same pattern. So there you have it. I've got my little pocket here and here. From the Hello Pumpkin signature page, we've cut out the top left corner and that's gonna be four and seven eighths of an inch by four and seven eighths. Adhere that piece down on our page 2A. We're gonna cut out harvest time and this is gonna be three and three quarters by two inches. And we're going to mat this frame sticker just right on top of that. I'm gonna put my little sentiment in there. And now you could do it um, how Carla has suggested, where you just trim a border around this little frame, or I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple and just keep it as is and add my adhesive in a U shape and create a little pocket. We are later gonna add a little artist trading tag in there. So just adhering this about a quarter of an inch from the bottom, nice in the center. If you wanna make sure you have a nice little space for your tag, you can just take these two top corners and just pinch them slightly together. That will leave a little bit of space, will make it easy to slide in your tag. We're gonna flip this up and we're gonna work on our page 2B. We've cut out Autumn Splendor to be three and three eighths by four and three quarters and Farmer's Market to be one and three quarters by four and three quarters. Adhere those two papers into place. You can see Carla is giving us some nice cohesive symmetry. She is a pro at that. We're gonna put this to the side because we're gonna start working on these fun fold pages here. So you can see we're gonna start doing some fun folding. So step four, we are gonna cut out three pieces that are 10 and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. So I have Color Me Happy, Farmer's Market, and Falling Leaves. So to create this fun fold, we're gonna do a little bit of scoring and cutting. So first we're gonna take all three of those papers and we're gonna score them at three inches. And then we're gonna score them at seven and seven eighths. score them at three inches and seven and seven eighths on all three. Go ahead and crease on those score lines. And then we're going just to do a nice easy diagonal fold here. So just taking those corners and bringing those down. We'll leave about an eighth of an inch space here and make those nice and crispy. So we're gonna bring our scoreboard back and we're gonna do some diagonal scoring. So I've just made a mark on my scoreboard. It's just with a light yellow marker. You can barely see it, but I 
have my mark on my scoreboard and I'm just gonna line up where I have my diagonal scores, making sure that it's hitting my 11 track just nicely. And then I'm gonna go ahead and score this at one inch away. So I have my two diagonal scores one inch apart. I'm gonna do that with all of those diagonal scores. Once I know I have it placed how I like it, now I can just score one inch away. And then I'll do the same with my other papers. Now we're all scored and we can just crease on our score lines to reveal what we've created. So I'm folding my little corner down in my top right and then folding down again on my second diagonal revealing my fun little two-tone patterns and then i'll do the same over here bring in my top corner and then i'm going to fold again so there you have it so you could leave it like this and have a little two-sided pocket or let's do it how Carla has it. And we are just going to match this up with this one so it kind of looks like a nice shawl neck. So just bring that straight across and then I'm gonna cut this on that diagonal. So there you have it. Now we can adhere these into place. Of course, you can't always cut off these excess little corners down here. But I'm just going to add adhesive just along the bottom of the inside. and then adhere these. Add adhesive on the bottom. And now we've created a fun fold pocket. And then to seal this up, I'm just going to use one of our fall stickers then repeat that process. Keeping in mind this purple one is going to be a horizontal pocket. And then adhere that orange one into page three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On page nine, we are going to adhere the farmer's market green page. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then our last page, we will adhere our horizontal pocket. Step seven, we're taking farmer's market that's been cut to four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And we're adhering this onto our page four. We have harvest time that's three inches by five inches. And then we are gonna score from the top on the five inch side. So I have my top here and I'm gonna score that at a half of an inch. Using a corner rounder, I've just rounded the two bottom corners. Fold down that half inch flap and add adhesive. And this is just going to adhere the center top of our page four. Step eight, we have harvest time. That's four and a half by three and a half. And we've rounded those four corners. And then we've taken this from our fall is in the air cut apart paper and we have just cut it out and then rounded those four corners. So we've added adhesive to our harvest time and we've left it unadhered on either side about an inch. And this is just going to be centered on our little flip up here. So pumpkins on top, harvest on the bottom. And we don't want it to go off the page. Now add some adhesive in a U shape. We want our journaling card side up. And this is just gonna go right on the top. That way I've left it open so you can use it as a pocket or you can just use it just as is. 
All right, so that was our page four, and we're gonna repeat that same technique on our page seven. So four, five, six, seven. So with this page here, we've got our autumn splendor that's been cut to four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. Next, we've got our falling leaves that's been cut to three inches by five inches, and then we've scored it from the top a half an inch, and then rounded those two bottom corners. Add your adhesive on the half inch flap here. and adhere flush with the top in the center. Next, we've got our falling leaves paper that we've cut to four and a half by three and a half inches and then rounded all of those. And we're just going to add adhesive to the center, leaving an inch on both sides. Enter this and let me grab that right cut apart and we're going to have it journaling side up again so add my adhesive in a U and adhere to the center front so there you have it another flip top pocket page step 10 we've got a piece of harvest time that's been cut to you four and seven eighths by one inch and this is just going to be on the top of our little full page pocket paper. So I'm just going to clip it in place and then flip that over and then we can trace out our little notch with our pencil. So you can take your scissors and then just trim that out being about an eighth of an inch larger than what you traced or you can take a circle punch. You can either take a one quarter of an inch punch which is going to get you right about the size of that little circle notch. Or if you have a one and a half inch punch, you could also use that. And that's just gonna give you a little lip so you'll be able to see some of that black as well. So I'm gonna use my one and a quarter inch punch, punching it out just a little bit larger than what I traced. And then I will adhere this down. We're gonna cut farmer's market to be four and seven eighths of an inch by seven and one eighth. We've got this in on our seven and one eighth side and I've got the bottom at zero and I'm going to score this at three and a quarter. Fold that up, revealing the plaid side. Round those two bottom corners and then we're going to adhere this onto our pocket page. I was watching one of Paul Ford's tutorials the other day and he refers to these style of pages as Frankenstein pages, which we love that. So next we are going to take this happy fall sticker and we're going to back it onto our uh, paper pack cover and then trim this out. Just using your sharpest fine tip scissors and then we're just going to fussy cut this out, adding it onto this backer. We're going to be using this as our little uh, stopper so we can open and close our little flap that we just created. So this gives it that added strength and then that nice decoration. So we can just adhere this, just the top bit down here I'm going to use a bit of foam tape. Just add this to the top so we get some extra strength with some liquid adhesive as well. And once this dries, this will just act as our little tuck spot. Now we've got this handy little tuck spot and that dimension just makes it nice and easy to put it in and take it out. Um, with this album, we wanna make sure not to add too much dimension since we still need to add all of our photos and other memorabilia. For step 12, we are going to repeat that same process that we have just on the next paper. And we have our falling leaves up here that's been cut to four and seven eighths by one inch. And then we just 
notched out our hole there. And then we've got our autumn splendor that's going to fold down. And this has been cut to four and seven eighths by seven and one eighths. Round those bottom corners and score from the bottom three and one quarter. And then this folds up and tucks underneath this happy fall sticker that we've popped up. Look how nice these two pages go together. This is what we're talking about with Carla's designs just looking so great and cohesive. Step 13, we are going to work on the next page, which is page eight. And we have cut these two pieces of harvest time, this one to be four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths, and this one to be four inches by four inches, and then round all the corners on this smaller piece. And here, our larger page down, pumpkins up, and then add your adhesive in a U shape, leaving the left hand side open. This is going to be for our little artist trading tag. It's going to tuck right in there. And adhere it closer to the binding edge, leaving more space on the left. We're going to repeat those steps for page 10 here. So we've cut Hello Pumpkin to be four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths, and falling leaves to be four by four, and then round those four corners. Add your adhesive on falling leaves in a U shape. This time our pocket's going to be from the top. And adhere this in the center, closer to the bottom. Cut Autumn Splendor to be one and three quarters of an inch by four and seven eighths. And Hello Pumpkin, the back side, we've got this three and three eighths by four and seven eighths. Adhere those down. Next, we're going to work on our page 12, and we're going to do this. We've cut this farmer's market to be one and three quarters by four and seven eighths, and falling leaves to be three and three eighths by four and seven eighths. Adhere those down. Cut autumn splendor to be four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. Cut farmer's market to be four by four, round all four corners and then add your adhesive in a U shape with our opening on the right. Now we have decorated all of our pages. It's time to create the inserts. For our first insert, we are going to cut a piece of harvest time to be eight inches by four and a half. And then we're going to score this at one and a half and four and three quarters on the eight inch side. We're just going to fold on those creases to create a fun little folder. And then round all four corners. Cut a piece of falling leaves to one and a quarter by four and one eighth. And then round your two right hand corners. And this is going to adhere right on our little flap. From fall is in the air, we've cut out this fall is in the air cut apart. And then go ahead and fold this in half. We've cut out this little scrap piece to be one inch by three and a quarter. Fold this in half or score it at a half of an inch and fold. Round those edges if you wish. And now we're going to create a fun a little interactive mechanism here. So our postcard it's going to go right in the center with our folds matching up and then our hinge is going to and then we're going to put our hinge on the back side of the right in the center with our score line our folded edge flush with this edge add adhesive on this section here and then center this again like so, and then this will just fold open giving you a cute little folder with lots of spaces for journaling and adding in your photos. Now we're going to create a belly band out of the cover of our paper pack. So we're just using this top section here and we've cut this to be seven and a half by one inch. I'm going to take this oval frame and a scrap piece of our harvest time and add this to the front. 
And then taking your fine tip scissors, you're just gonna fussy cut this out, leaving a nice green border. So now let's create our belly band, taking our cover piece and just fold this around your folder, leaving a good amount of room because once you add in your photos and things, you want this to still be able to slide on. So just leaving a nice little loose fold and then I'm going to adhere this together and then adhere this on the center. slide on your belly band. Now we're gonna grab three of those black artist trading tags. And then we're gonna cut out the following papers to be two and three eighths of an inch by two and three quarters. We have Hello Pumpkin, Falling Leaves, and Color Me Happy. And then round all those corners. Locate your following flower assortment pieces. And we're gonna add just a little bit of dimension to these. So I'm just taking like a round ball stylus. You can use the end of a paintbrush or whatever you've got in your stash. And just, I'm gonna go on both sides, just adding some nice curve to my flower. I like using my hand for this, but of course you could always use some uh, cardboard or if you've got a little foam mouse pad, that would work too. So I'm gonna add adhesive to my center here. Add adhesive to the bottom of my flower stem and that's just gonna go underneath. Do the same with our little flower center. And cute little dimensional flower. The butterfly, I'm going to add a little bit. of dimension to this as well. So I've just played on the back side here. Now I'll pull up my wings and adhere the center of my butterfly. dimensional flower, our butterfly, and those just tuck into our page one, page two A, and page two C. And of course, if you wanna add some coordinating uh, ribbon or trim, you can do that to these tags. Grab three more tags, and we're gonna cut these pieces to the same dimensions, two and three eighths by two and three quarters, and we've got our Harvest Time, Falling Leaves, and Color Me Happy. Add here. I'm gonna flip these over. Add your border stickers and just trim to fit. Add these tags to pages eight, 10, and 13. Step 23, we're gonna take Color Me Happy, Harvest Time, and Falling Leaves, and cut these to be 12 inches by three and three quarters. And then we're gonna score all three of these at the three inch mark and seven and a half inch on the 12 inch side. Accordion fold all three of those. And we're gonna have two that zigzag to the right and one that goes to the left, which is our falling leaves. Next, we're gonna take three cut aparts and round those corners and adhesive to the back leaving the part that is exposed unadhered and adhere to the center of your fronts insert one into page 2b and one into page 11 and 12 from fall is in the air. We're gonna cut out these three pieces and they're each four inches by three and a half and round all four corners. And then we're gonna take these three pieces and cut them to the same dimensions. And we have a harvest time paper and two falling leaves. 
to adhere these together, we're going to add our liquid adhesive to the bottom portion of our tag. I'm gonna put my journaling card on the top of my tag where I've got my rounded grommet. I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch from my rounding edges here. Flip this over and then we'll adhere falling leaves on the back side. So I've added my pumpkins on the back of this pumpkin. On my floral, I have leaves. And these are gonna tuck into our fun fold pockets we created earlier. Now we're gonna work on the inside of our box. From Autumn Splendor, we've cut this piece to be five inches by three and a half. And we've cut Hello Pumpkin to be five inches by two and three eighths. I've adhered my Autumn Splendor and with my Hello Pumpkin, I'm just going to place this where I want it to go on my pocket and just mark on either side of my notch circle. And this time I'm taking a one inch punch course you could slide this in the pocket and trace that out and then cut it out manually but this way it's going to work beautifully so punch that out and adhere this down then we're going to grab this folder we created with the belly band and it's just going to slide right in this pocket cut out three pieces of autumn splendor that are five by one and three quarters adhere those inside your box from fault is in the air. We're gonna cut out this cut apart and we're gonna trim it to be four inches by three and three quarters. Once you've got that with the pumpkins, we're going to uh, put this on the four inch side and score it at a half of an inch. We've cut this piece of falling leaves to be five inches by five inches. And then we've taken that score line and folded it under and added adhesive onto that half inch section and this is just going to be the start of our little waterfall so adhering it centered from top and bottom and a quarter of an inch from the left next we're going to take harvest time and autumn splendor and we are going to cut those to the same dimensions four by three and three quarters and on the four inch side you're going to score those both at a half of an inch fold that section back and adhere this flush with our first waterfall repeat with the next. We've cut this scrap piece to be two inches by three quarters of an inch and we're going to adhere this just in the center just about a half of an inch underneath our last page on our waterfall. I'm going to take two of these matching tag stickers and I've ad added one to the edge of my little strip and now I'm going to just back the other one with the coordinating sticker and then I'm going to fold over this whole piece. So this will help bring up our little uh, waterfall so you can see each of those pages. And then we're going to adhere this whole five by five piece into the base of our box. From our signature page that we cut earlier, we're going to cut out this section here, this Hello Pumpkin stand. And we've cut it to be five and a half by six inches. And then we're just gonna trim off the bottom three quarters of an inch. So you end up with a piece that looks perfectly like this. That's going to go on our box. Step 33. We're gonna cut out two pieces of Hello Pumpkin that are going to be five and three eighths by one and seven eighths. And then we're gonna cut out two more pieces that are gonna be five and a quarter by one and seven eighths. And I just want those plaids to be matching up when I put these around my box. So I started with the bottom line being the same as that nice orange. So they're gonna be nice and uh, cohesive all the way around. So my two shorter pieces are going to be on my flap ends. So 
those are slightly shorter ends. So the ends with my flap. And my two longer pieces are gonna be on the top and bottom. And then like I mentioned before, I want this plaid to match up all the way around. So I'm gonna make sure that my orange stripe is gonna be at the bottom on all four sides. And there you have it. We've got our plaid all the way around. And we've cut this piece of falling leaves to be five and a quarter by one inch. And that's gonna go on our magnetic flap. Now from our paper pack, we are gonna fussy cut out this wheelbarrow image here and this pumpkin trio. The nice thing about this is it's gonna give us a little bit of gloss and shine. And also it adds some nice sturdiness for the top of our box. For step 35, we've taken a piece of that paper uh, cover and we've cut it to be two inches by two and a quarter. And then we are going to do some scoring at one eighth of an inch, one and one eighth and two and an eighth. Fold on those score lines so your piece looks like this. And then we're gonna add adhesive to our little ledge, creating a nice little ramp that's gonna give our cover of our album some dimension. So I've adhered the Hello Pumpkin onto the top of my box. Now we're just gonna kinda of play around. So I want my little ramp to be underneath my main image. And I want my main image to be centered and about a quarter of an inch from the very bottom. So I'm gonna add my ramp towards the top of this fussy cut image. And now I can add adhesive here as well as on the bottom section. I'm gonna take those pumpkins and these are gonna go right in the front center. I'm gonna trim up my wheelbarrow just a little bit so everything's staying inside. Now to spice up your cover, we're gonna add some of these fun fold flowers that come in your flower assortment. So we're gonna roll these up, but we're gonna go over the same process what we did with our other ones, just kind of breaking down those fibers. So that will help them roll more easily. So once you have it how you like it, you just start from the outside here and start rolling. And just hold the base on the bottom of your finger and roll. And if you start to get um, your flower isn't getting as round as you'd like it, you can just bring it in and then kind of pinch where it needs to be a little rounder. Now, once you get to your base, we're gonna go ahead and fold our base back and then forward again. And this is where we're going to adhere this on. So I'm gonna let it unroll just a little bit until I kind of like the size that we have. And then pinch your ends again and add your adhesive to the base. Of course, if you use hot glue at this point, going to dry a lot faster and you're going to be able to start working with your flowers sooner so I'm just using my let my wet adhesive that we had from what we were using so these are just going to need to sit and dry for a little bit Now we can start putting all of this together. So I'm just gonna add some leaves, a butterfly here or there.
So your front cover should look something like this. And to decorate up our spine, we've taken our Autumn Splendor and cut this to uh, four and a quarter by one and one eighth. Just adhere that to our center. And then we're gonna take this Happy Fall sticker and just add that. Now all we've got left to do is add adhesive to our spine and adhere this into our box. Of course, you could always add a cover if you wanted and have this just as a separate album that comes out, which would also be super fun. But you wanna use some nice heavy duty adhesive when you're adhering your album into your box and then you also we save this step for last so it'll have time to set and dry so I'm going to add this to the center of my spine here and then I want to make sure everything's gonna open and shut beautifully so okay looking good So while I'm waiting for this to set, I'm just gonna grab my paper towel and clean up any excess adhesive. Another way to ensure a good bond is just taking your bone folder and sliding it between each of your pages. Congratulations, we have now completed this Hello Pumpkin album in a box. We hope that you had fun creating along with us and we'd love to see your projects. So go ahead and share those with us on Instagram. Just tag graphic45. And if you're looking for more great tutorials like this one, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell so you know whenever we upload a new fun and fabulous project. Thank you again for joining us, and as always, happy paper crafting. <music>